What's up, Sky's family? Bright and early, as you can see. Do you guys believe in retrogrades? If you don't know what a retrograde is, look it up. Mercury retrograde, it happens like four times a year. And basically, when a retrograde is happening, a bunch of bad things kind of all happen together. And we have been feeling this retrograde. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's been bad. It's been so bad. We go into the stables to muck the stalls and I see this puddle. See right there, there's a puddle. And I noticed that there's sprinkles on it and I was like, what the heck? It has to be bugs, it has to be like, I don't know, like water bugs or something like moving the water. So Jay and I go to investigate and let me show you what it is. There's Molly Bounty. There's George Bounty. Hi George. <laughs> if you can't see, we have a water spraying from this pipe. Actually, both pipes. It's like right here. I have no idea what happened. It's right here too. It's creating an awesome uh, sprinkler for the horses to enjoy. So what we're trying to figure out right now is where the water is coming from. This is a new house for us, so we don't know like what the pipes do and where the pipes are at and the valves and the water is warm that's coming out of this thing. Secondly, I would just like to congratulate the engineers of this stables. Why would you put that where a horse could easily step on it or, or touch it. Why? Why, Molly? Why? So about a week ago, Flight, Flight Cribs, Flight's not allowed to have his automatic water system on. So last week, somehow the water system turned on down here and Flight's cribbed on this, sent it off balance, and his whole stall on the bottom right here, all this, but his whole stall flooded. Two feet of water. Good thing we're on a well out here and we don't have to pay for water. <laughs> guys that would be expensive but yeah it's another part of the retrograde i don't want to focus on the negatives because so i'm on a pretty tight schedule this morning my mornings are always a little bit hectic oh and that makes it all better thank you for making it all better for me thank you molly mowney so after i'm done mucking the horses i have to go upstairs um get my video from my editors Rewatch it, make sure everything looks good, get that ready to post, post it, tag, title it. Then I have to film two more videos for this week. And as you guys might have known, I'm throwing in some reactions. I'm trying to do a little bit more reactions. You know, just different content, testing the waters out, seeing how it works for my channel, seeing how you guys like it. I enjoy doing the reactions a lot because I get to talk and I get to tell you guys about a lot of stories from my past and I don't know, I just have a lot of fun doing the reactions. It's fun. So yeah, after today's reaction video gets posted, I have to film. We're working on building an awesome studio. Jay and I spent the whole day at Ikea yesterday finding awesome furniture to make my little studio. We're gonna get paint today at Home Depot and I'm gonna paint the walls. It's basically the workout room. I'm transforming the workout room to my little studio. Hello. George Manny over there taking a dump. You look pretty with all the green grass around you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you silly? On top of that, since my knee is not getting better right now, my knee when I tore my ACL, this knee, I literally still can't ride horses right now. I can barely do anything because my knee is like a potato. So I'm trying to go to a sports medicine therapist, doctor, whatever he is, and just the whole, if you guys are like dealing with like medical and insurance and just like getting medical files transferred over to different doctors, that in itself is just such a joyous occasion. It's so awesome because it's so much fun. Not, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm stupid sometimes talking. They're like, all right, they ask me so many questions. What's my social? What's, what's my stepdad's social? Blah, blah, blah. As you can see, the retrograde, you guys, the retrograde. Anyways, the farrier is coming to shoe both horses at 10.30, so 10.30 should be coming up quick, especially when we have a pond growing in our little paddock area. A beautiful pond, maybe some fish will, and some tadpoles will start swimming in there. So yeah, on top of all the video stuff, we have the farrier. Sometimes I wonder if I should just board my horses at, at a facility. <laughs> What? You're gonna have to call a plumber. All right, so it could be a couple things. It could be something that, it's hot water, so it's something connected to the main house. So if I shut the, I'll try to shut the main off, and if the main does it, then I know it's something along with the house. Which, again, shout out to the architecture, because why the hell would you ever tie anything to the main house behind the barn of hot water? I get it, to get hot water out here, but it doesn't make any sense. We're in Florida. Barns don't need hot water. 
This thing I touched, but that didn't do anything besides water coming through. Bro. But you got Molly loving on you. Molly makes everything better. Yeah, no, it has to be tied to our house. We're gonna have to shut our house water off, fix that pipe, and then Toopy's itching herself. But we can't turn the water off yet because the farrier is coming and he needs water when he shoes our horse. George, 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 all right, so since I can't fix that pipe because I'm not a plumber, I am going to muck the stalls. And these are not the ones I use, this is the one. The one thing that I find so crazy is that when you're in the moment and everything's happening, you're like, ah! But when you look back on it and like you rewatch the video later on or like you watch it a couple weeks later, then you realize how much of a minuscule problem any problem really is, it's really not that big of a deal. But when it first happens, it feels like a huge deal. And I'm not just talking about like a leaky pipe, I'm just talking about everything in general. Everything happening at once. Flight also got an awesome scratch on his face today too. Not today, he got it a couple days ago, but he has a huge scratch. That's what happens when you let your horses be on like 100% turnout, they scratch themselves up. What is wrong, Toopy? What is wrong? Do you have a, a sprinkler system going on? Picking up horse poop. <coughs> what is happening? What is that noise? Oh my god. This is all my stuff from Ikea, guys. Oh my god, ye. Oh my god. All I was doing was editing upstairs, and I hear this crazy squeal. Baby Bird is helping me edit. Not edit, but like rewatch and revise. There's Baby Bird with her flight suit on so she doesn't poop on my pillows. Hi. Are you helping me? What was that noise? Is that loud? That was loud. It went ee. Do you have strawberry on your beak? Is that strawberry? That's a good bird. Shout out to my editors. I just rewatch it and then I get it ready to be posted while Baby Bird helps me. Right, you're helping me? Yeah? Do you like it? Oh. Okay, so I did my makeup. Jay fixed the leak. He became a plumber. He got a new pipe, fixed it all up. And now I'm about to film this is my filming room so far. We're gonna paint the walls white. We bought that at Ikea, this at Ikea, that at Ikea. I'm gonna put all my, my art on the walls. We're gonna make the gym in our garage instead of in this room. And I just got some Amazon packages. Oh my God, I love Amazon. Whenever I order stuff on Amazon, I always think it's gonna be like so much bigger than it actually is. This is ridiculously small. And then I got this package over here, which is hopefully bigger. And yeah, these are a little bit bigger, at least bigger than that. This is ridiculously small. Oh my gosh, love Amazon for that, shout out. And then I also got some whole nuts for baby birds. She's never had a whole nut before, so I'm going to open this up and give her a large nut and see what she thinks about it, what she wants to do with it. I guess I will try giving her this walnut first. Frankie's like, I want that nut. Can't have it, Frankie. All right, let's give it to baby bird. What are you doing with your wings? Baby bird's broken one of my light bulbs before by landing on my light. Baby bird, I have this nut for you. You wanna try it out? This is your first nut. What are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna crack it open? Do you know what to do? Is it instinctual? Are you just a smart bird? Are you a smart bird? She's like, I don't know what to do. That should keep her quiet. I'm hoping I can keep her upstairs and out of her cage when I film. Normally when I film and I talk loud, she likes to talk <laughs> as well. She's like, why is my mom so excited? I'm gonna be excited too. Wah, 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 wah. So hopefully I can film, but if not, we have these nuts to keep her busy, or maybe these nuts will keep her busy while I'm filming. Hello? Hello? I love you. I love you, baby bird. 
La 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 la. Oh, you like your nut? Taste it out. Open it up. Amelia. Baby Amelia. <coughs> You're a baby. We love our baby bird. <coughs> yeah, she's such a good bird. Yeah. And you're a good boy, Frankie. <coughs> oh, are you stretching? Oh. Frankie's waiting for her to drop that nut. A little behind the scenes on my videos, what I'm doing right now. This is my awesome adjustable table I got from Ikea, and right now I'm taking all the wrappers. I took all the wrappers off of these. Now I'm working on taking all the wrappers off of those, and oh my god, every time I take wrappers off like a million things, my nails like literally get so broken and like, <laughs> I think I need to get like a stool right here so I can sit instead of stand. I'm a person, I don't know, I would rather sit than stand, but when I sit too long, then I wanna stand, you feel me? So, girl can't make up her mind. Anyways, back to taking wrappers off things and um, filming this video, so let's get it done. <laughs> All right, Sky family, it is later in the day. Finished filming, and now we are going to be taking Baby Bird back out of her cage. <laughs> and she is going to be walking me around. Would you like to come out? You look like a silhouette. Hello. Do you wanna walk me around, Amelia? See where you go? Or maybe where you fly? Okay, so here is Baby Bird's harness. She wears this when she goes outside because she is flighted, so she could fly away. I'm always worried about this, going you know, and she flies away and she just has like her harness on. Let's watch Baby Bird put her harness on. First, I need to put this over Baby Bird's head. Ah. Now at first, she hated doing this. I've done it a lot, so she's all right with it now. And then I put her wings ah. through here. And then I pull, make sure none of her feathers are there. Ah. And then I pull it very tightly and I get her other wing. Well, not very tightly, but you know what I mean. Good bird, ah. good job. She likes going out. Good job. There we go. So as you can see, it's not too tight, but it is snug on there. And then I put this around my wrist like that. Now I say, step up, baby bird. Are you excited? All right, so baby bird is outside. Yes. Yeah, you are. Give me a kiss. I gave you a kiss. Oh my gosh, she flew away. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. I'm gonna put baby bird on the ground and then we're going to see where she decides she wants to take us. Maybe she wants to go back up on my arm. Maybe she wants to walk around. Nobody knows what Baby Bird will do. Ah! Let's see where Baby Bird will go. First thing she decided to do is chew some wood. Oh, now Baby Bird's going under the table. It's too hot out here. Baby Bird. All right, Baby Bird's walking around. All right, so my camera ran out of memory, so I had to delete some things quick, but Baby Bird climbed up on here and then flew over here. You gotta get that bug. And she loves, don't get that bug. That bug's poisonous. She loves to bite fake plants. Now she's biting her leash. Don't bite that. Where else you want to go, baby bird? Amelia. Come on, Amelia. Come on. Oh, good be. Good job. Go first. He's hungry, mom. Now we're gonna show Amelia the pond for the first time. Has she been in the pond? No, I never showed her the pond yet. All right. Wow, ah. what do you think? Ah. She likes it. Yeah, she loves to take a shower. I'll have to record it. Do you wanna go on the grass? What is going on? Every dog ah. wants their own personal pond, all right? And this pond too, ah. this pond is a lot smaller. Ah. This pond's huge now. Yeah, the pond's giant now. See, this is what I mean. Whenever I talk, she gets loud. <laughs> Let's put her on the grass and see where she wants to walk. She doesn't want to get off my hands. Ooh, I think she likes grass. Go on the grass. She doesn't like it. Hey, where are you going? Ah. Whoa. Look at you. She just landed on me, guys. Whoa. The best part about this leash is that it's stretchy. So when she flies, it's like, boy. <laughs> it's not like a hard, uh. Wow. So. Apparently, she didn't want to go on the grass. Apparently, she just said that. Yep, see? Yep. I get it. I get why. Don't put me on that grass. That green stuff is scary, okay? All right, baby bird, this is supposed to be a video about you walking me, 
Not me carrying baby bird around. Baby bird's like, get this harness off me. This is the, the awesome video of my parrot walks me around, which actually means I walk my parrot around. All right, now we are hanging out in the shade. Franklin's over here. Doesn't take much to tire Franklin out. One thing I love about my animals is that they all get along. Besides the barn cats, they kind of just came with the house. All of our other pets just get along. Barn cats are still freaked out. They have a, a very flight response when it comes to the dogs. They just run whenever they see dogs. So yeah, unfortunately, Molly and George. What are you doing? You swinging that diaper around, dude? Swing that diapy, swing that diapy, yeah. The cereal dance with the diapy. Franklin loves the bird. It's so funny, and the bird loves Franklin. The bird bites Willie. Amelia really doesn't like Willie too much. Watch. Oh, she didn't care that time. She doesn't like the cats. I guess the only dog really Amelia likes is Franklin, but she'll tolerate them. I can't believe I'm losing my voice. Am I seriously losing my voice? Oh my gosh. That's how you know you work too much. I guess I normally film this much. I don't even know why my voice is <clears throat> losing my voice. I really am. It's not, wow. Sometimes I like it when I lose my voice because then I sound like a different person. When I was younger, I hated my voice so much. Now, I love my voice. Like, I think my voice is awesome, but I used to think my voice was really deep, and I used to want it to be lighter. Like, my old videos that are now hidden, I used to talk lighter like this, and when I watch them, I'm just like, oh my god, cringe alert. But yeah, as you get older, you grow to like what you have and what you're born with. But I used to think I used to sound like a boy. I mean, I guess now I kind of do because I have a raspy voice. Franklin, I'm losing my voice. What do you think? You just gonna get drool on me? Why are you so handsome? Why are you such a handsomest boy ever? Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, don't get the drool on me, please. Stop, back up. Ew. All right, and now I close off with me giving Frankie a back massage. Do, 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 do. It's, it's hard with one hand. But cha 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 Alright guys glad I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, she said bye. Hello. Good bird. Wow.